Hey friends, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and in this video we're learning the Tunisian Crochet Bobble Stitch. Bobbles add beautiful texture to Tunisian crochet fabric and they're really easy to do. If you're excited to learn this Tunisian crochet technique with me, be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel for even more crochet tutorials, free patterns, and product reviews. For this tutorial, I'm using a 6.5 millimeter Tunisian crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. Bobbles can be worked over any number of stitches. For my sample, I'm working over 15 stitches. Here's a little example of the bobble stitch in Tunisian crochet. You can see that we've got nice firm bobbles that poke out to the front side of our work. So I'm going to show you how to do those. I'm just going to continue on this same sample. I'm going to work a couple stitches in Tunisian simple stitch up into the space that I want to put my bobble. I'm going to tighten down a little bit so you can really see what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by yarning over my hook. And for this stitch, I want to find the front and back bar. So here's the front bar. And then right behind it is going to be the back bar. So I'm going to insert my hook in the space between those two bars. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops on my hook. And I'm going to do that five total times. So that was one. Yarn over, insert into that same space between loops. Yarn over, pull up the loop. Yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Now I'm tightening down this first loop here after completing that series of steps because doing bobbles is all about keeping really tight tension and that's what's going to help your bobble stay towards the front of your work. So that was two. Here's three. Yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two, and tighten. Here's four, and tighten. And here's five. Pull through two, and tighten. So now I want to find the next five loops on my hook. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to yarn over and pull through those five loops. So I'm going to leave my finger here so I make sure I don't pull through any loops I'm not meant to. Yarn over, pull through those five, and again I'm yanking down on that top loop. I'm going to follow that with a Tunisian simple stitch in the next stitch. So I can already see that bobble poking out to the front of my work. So let's do that again. I'm going to just simple stitch over to where I want my next bobble to be. So I'm going to go into this stitch here, yarn over, insert between the front and back bar of that stitch, pushing my hook towards the back of my work, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, tighten down that loop. There's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, And here's five. I'm gonna find five loops, yarn over and pull through those five loops, and then tighten. One more time together. So I'm gonna simple stitch over to where I want my next bobble to be. I'll put it here. So I'm gonna begin by yarning over, insert between the front and back bar of that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. There's one, here's two, here's three, there's four, and five. I'm going to find five loops, yarn over, pull through all five, and tighten down. So at this point I'm just going to finish my row. And now I'll need to do my return pass. So I'm going to start with a chain one, yarn over, pull through two, through two, and through two. On my yarn, on my, <laughs> on my return pass, I like to make sure that I tighten down the loop that's right above the bobble. And then when I yarn over, pull through two again, I'll tighten down the loop for the stitch right after the bobble on my return pass. And again, that just really helps to make sure the bobble pops out on the front side of our work. So it's all about tension here. Because if your tension is too loose, your bobble will just lay in the fabric of your swatch. And that's the bobble stitch. 
This video is made as a supplement to the bobble stitch square as part of the Tunisian holiday sampler blanket. To get the row by row instructions and helpful chart for the bobble stitch square and learn more about this free sampler afghan pattern, visit the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.